The folk musician Len Chandler leading the massive crowd that day in a rendition of Keep Your Eyes on the Prize, with none other than Bob Dylan and Joan Baez providing accompaniment. Though less well known than his backup singers, Chandler was one of the most influential artists of his time as a musical leader of protests for civil rights and against war. Born and raised in Ohio, Chandler learned the piano at a young age, then took up the oboe as part of his high school band. After graduating from college in 1957, he moved to New York City and quickly became a part of the Greenwich Village folk scene, alongside the likes of Dylan and Pete Seeger. I'm going to get my baby out of jail. With protest in the air, Chandler played in Washington Square Park and at the Gaslight Cafe, writing songs about the sit-ins and freedom riders of the South, and later the environment and the Vietnam War. In 1968, he took a job at KRLA Radio in Pasadena, where his assignment was to write and perform three songs a day about the news. My thanks to all of you. Including one in the immediate aftermath of the assassination that year of Robert F. Kennedy. Long lines of morning. Dylan once wrote of Chandler, Len was brilliant and full of goodwill. One of those guys who believed that all of society could be affected by one solitary life. Mine eyes have seen injustice. Len Chandler, who told the stories of a fast-changing world, died late last month at home in San Pedro, California. He was 88 years old. Keep your eyes on the prize. 